This is tutorial is on how to prepare the recommendation of tenderer. First, go to tendering. Select recommendation of tenderer. Click tender. Next to fill in the form. All items with asterisks are compulsory to be filled. First, to set the proposed date. To set the time click at the timer icon. Next, to set the closing date, the steps are similar. Set the completion period. If you have any project incentives and procurement method you can fill in the information. Next to key in the project budget, consultant estimation, and date of site possession. If you want to allow the contractor to propose their own date, tick at the checkbox. You can also disable tender rate submission. And also technical evaluation. Next is to set the contract limit. The technical evaluation form is based on the contract limit that you select. You can key in any remarks if you want to. Then click Save. Next is to assign contractors. Click Assign Contractor. Tick at the checkbox for the selected contractors. Then click Save. Next to send out an expression of interest to the selected contractors. Next to draft a message to the contractors. Click Preview. Then select Recipients. Click Send. Now you can see the status is pending because the contractor needs to respond to the expression of interest email. As an example, the contractor will receive an email. They need to click at the link. Then they need to respond yes or no. If there are any remarks they can key in. Then click yes. Back to eProject system. Click refresh. If you notice the status change to yes. To view the contractor's remarks, at the status log, click view. You also have the option to change the status manually. To set a verifier to approve, you can select from the list.
the approval process is based on hierarchy. Once finalized with the form and contractor list click Submit. Back to Project Dashboard.